Are you searching for a video that's going to show you how to unvault your laptop GPU in a couple of short steps and whilst we're at it, also overclock your GPU as well. So you're going to undervolt it for better temperatures and you're going to overclock it for better performance and everybody's winning. If that's the case, then this is the video for you. So sit down, strap in, and let's go. So one of the first videos I made on my channel when I first started out about a year ago was how to undervolt a GTX 1650 mobile or GTX 1650 laptop. But the sound quality was horrendous as well as I did not know at the time how to flatten out the voltage curve other than do it manually. So in this video, this is my updated video and it's not specifically for a GTX 1650 GPU, it's for any laptop because MSI Afterburner pretty much functions the same way for all graphics cards. So before we get started, I'm going to need you to download one or two things. If you don't have tech power or if you don't have GPU-Z, I'm going to put this link in the description of the video. So just go ahead and download tech power up GPU-Z. Boom. And then if you don't have MSI Afterburner, you could download it from, uh, from the official MSI page. But uh, what I found is the latest last couple of versions of MSI Afterburner, I think since 22H2, which was about October last year, it, it, it shows the incorrect CPU usage uh, if you just download it from this page. So what I've been using and what I actually recommend you use is the, the 465 Beta 1 build. So you can just, I'll put this script, I'll put this in the, this link in the description of the video. Just go ahead and download that and install it over your current MSI Afterburner. And what you'll notice is in games, it's going to show you the correct CPU usage as opposed to like 5% or 9%. And once we've done that, we're going to get, we're going to get ready for step number one. Right, so once you have GPU-Z and the beta version of MSI Afterburner downloaded and installed, just go ahead and open up GPU-Z. So for you, it might actually install to program files x86, but for me, I've actually saved it in a custom folder over here. So just open up GPU-Z. And then by default, it's gonna open up to your, uh, your integrated graphics. So just go ahead and Click the drop down menu and select your graphics card and then what i want you to take note of once it shows your graphics card settings um, look for your default clock and then look for your boost clock so this is what your your invert or your gpu is going to boost to when it's not overclocked so for me it's 1680 megahertz it's going to obviously it's going to be different for you if you have a different gpu or you have gd gddr5 version of the 1650 Whatever your boost clock is, doesn't matter. Just take note of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to set your uh, we're going to set the frequency to run consistently in MSI Afterburner 100 megahertz above your boost clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to overclock by 100 megahertz, and we're going to apply undervolt. So we're going to get more performance and reduce temperatures. So once you've taken note of that number. What I want you to do is open up MSI Afterburner. Okay, and then guys, if you already have a profile installed, that's fine. Just go ahead and unlock over here. And then uh, just uh, press the refresh button and save, and then just save it to a second or third profile. And so let me just show you what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do here is Press refresh and it's going to reset the settings and I'm going to save it to profile 3. I'll save it to profile 3 and then hit apply and then I'm going to lock it so now you can see profile 3 is set to default. So now once you've reset all your settings in the MSI Afterburner, just open up the lock over here, go to Curve Editor and sorry I just need to move my recorder quickly. So what you're going to do is hold down the shift key and then the first node, what you're going to do is just going to pull it down right to zero or 500 or whatever the case may be. Just pull it right down to the bottom. And guys, by default, 
any graphics card on a laptop is set to about a thousand millivolts or slightly above so what so what you're going to find is your undervolt is going to be typically be between 900 millivolts over here all the way down to about 775 millivolts um, but for my laptop i can't undervolt beyond 850 millivolts so what we're going to do is we're going to start with 900 so on the 900 node so whatever you uh, so select the 900 node so um, whatever your default your boost clock was in gpuz add 100 me uh, megahertz so for me it was 1680 but i'm going to add 100 so we're going to make it 1785 so just drag up this node and then just get it to 100 above your boost clock figure as mentioned for me it was 1785 and now press Control L and let's move this to the side a little bit and all you're gonna do is hit apply boom your GPU is undervolted but we've undervolted to 900 so you can uh, we want to actually find out where the undervolt starts crashing our games so what I want you to do is now now that you've applied the undervolt um, what I want you to do is play the most demanding game on your system and play this for about 15 to 20 minutes if there are no crashes that means it's stable so then what you're going to do is you're going to come back to MSR Afterburner and then select pro Profile 3 and then just refresh it again save it to Profile 3 and then just go to your Curve Editor same as before just pull this down to the bottom and then now instead of 900 we're going to select 875 and then just pull it up to your your turbo your your um your oh, gee, i'm getting tongue tied just pull it up to your boost clock plus 100 so for me it was 1785 okay and then control l and then just hit apply and now we've undervolted to 875 meg uh, megahertz so now what I want you to do is just save it to Profile 3 again, lock it. Now play your most demanding game for 15 to 20 minutes. There are no crashes and there's no irregular behavior in, in, uh, in your games. That means it's stable. Then repeat the, uh, repeat the process. Come back into uh, MSR Afterburner, uh, unlock, select Profile 3 and then just hit the refresh button go into your curve editor same as last time just pull the first node down to the bottom and instead of 875 now we're going to set our undervolt to 850 let's drag it up to your boost clock plus 100 so for me it was 1785 and then press shift and l and then simply apply and now what we've done is instead of 875 we've undervolted our G gpu to 850 and we've set it to a mac or to a to a stable boost clock frequency plus 100. so guys just keep on repeat, repeating this process and once you've applied your undervolt play your most demanding game something that's very cpu and gpu heavy if there's no if there's no crashes no irregular behavior it means it's stable and keep on repeating that process and going lower and lower and lower until you get to a point where you're playing a game and it crashes that's fine we want that to happen and once you get to it let's say it happens at 825 uh, let's say it happened at 825 and then we're just going to repeat that process and set it back to 850 whatever your numbers are so for me i noticed that i can't undervolt beyond 850 mega uh, uh, millivolts my, my game start crashing uh, if I go lower than 850 millivolts so just repeat that process find your undervolt get your game to crash as soon as you crash just go back up 25 millivolts and guys it's that simple that's how you undervolt your GPU so once you've once you find your under your perfect undervolt settings 
So you see mine is 850 at 1785. What I want you to do is just come to wherever you saved your profile, three, and then a memory clock. Start off small, um, uh, just make it, uh, just drag it to you until you're about 100. Hit apply. So now you can see we've we've boosted our memory clock, we've overclocked our GPU, and we've undervolted our GPU. So we're gonna get more more performance, blah 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 blah. But anyway, so just keep on go pushing up your your memory clock. I'd say push it up about between 200 and 400. I think beyond 400, it might be a little bit unstable. But for my card. As you can see on my first profile, my my ideal settings is plus 402. Anything above 402, it starts crashing my GPU. So guys, it's that simple. Overclocking your graphics card, set it to a constant frequency, and we're underclocking it or undervolting it to 850, so you're getting low temperatures. Guys, it's really that simple. So anyways that's today's video if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section uh if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button guys if you're watching and you haven't subscribed by now now's the time to do so other than that enjoy the rest of the day it's people like you cheers mm -hmm.